Hello YouTube and welcome back to Be A Loser. In this video, we're going to continue our series on T2D and answer the question, is there really no cure for type 2 diabetes? So previously, we discussed exactly what T2D is and how we become diabetic. We also told you that in 98% of people, it is absolutely reversible. But as we also showed you, and as I'm sure most of you have been told, healthcare professionals consider the disease chronic and progressive. Well, to contradict them a bit, let's look at a typical last resort surgery. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this, bariatric surgery, commonly known as stomach stapling. The earliest of these surgeries was the Rue NY, in which the stomach was cut to the size of a walnut. The small intestines were then reworked in a way that would not allow food to be properly absorbed. This type of surgery is actually a combination of two different surgeries. Restrictive surgery, which restricts how much food can be eaten, and malabsorptive surgery, which restricts how food is absorbed. An example of restrictive surgery is the sleeve gastrectomy. In this surgery, only the stomach is cut to the size of a walnut. When the stomach is so small, it obviously becomes difficult to eat, and many patients end up on a strictly liquid diet. Ingesting much more than this causes the stomach to distend or balloon out and can cause persistent nausea. The third type of surgery is the lap band. The intention of this surgery is the same. A band is wrapped around the stomach and reduces it to the size of a walnut. There's no actual cutting involved in this surgery and the band can be tightened to further restrict food intake. Now, as I hope is clear, I am not a doctor, but I wouldn't recommend these surgeries. And many doctors don't recommend them either, Dr. Fung included. Now, they do have short-term benefits, but longer-term studies show varying efficacy. But we're straying a bit from our point. Is T2D reversible? So we can assume that anyone who was having one of these surgeries suffered from extreme obesity and T2D. They were told that their disease was incurable and pr progressive. Their pancreas was depleted of beta cells and there was nothing that could be done to repair it. Additionally, they would have had extreme insulin resistance that could not be reversed. So if that is fact, then the surgery should not change it, right? Once a diabetic, always a diabetic. I've heard that before. But in almost all of these surgeries, the T2D completely disappeared. Now hold on a second. We were told that T2D is irreversible. Chronic and progressive, right? I know I saw that somewhere. Oh, right. But the fact is that T2D is fully reversible. Even if you weigh 500 pounds and have been insulin resistant for 20 plus years, the reversal actually occurs in just a few weeks, even before there is major weight loss. The diabetes just disappears. There was a study done by the New England Journal of Medicine published in 2012. I'll par paraphrase it now, but I encourage you all to read it for yourselves. I'll put a link in the description. In this study, they compared individuals with two different types of surgery against another group called the control with no surgeries. The patients continued taking all of their T2 meds during the entirety of the study. I'm going to use some scientific terms as we move forward. Any type 2 diabetics watching should be familiar with them, but for the rest of you, you can feel free to pause and do a web search for them. Okay, this study lasted for three years and the baselines were average age 48, average HbA1c 9.3%, very poor, average BMI 36, obese. So over the study, the control group, no surgeries, had very little change. They didn't gain or lose weight and actually had to increase their meds. This indicates 
that their T2D was worsening, just as the experts tell you that it will. However, in both surgical groups, the number of patients still on meds went down in the first three months. And after three years, 38% of the patients who had received RUNY surgery had HbA1c levels of less than 6%. Additionally, many of these patients were no longer on meds at all. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but if you aren't taking meds for something, that typically means it's cured. So these individuals were cured of the chronic, progressive, and irreversible type 2 diabetes. Shocking to us, but in reality, this has been known since 1982. I'll link the results of another study in the description as well. This study showed that after a year, individuals who had bariatric surgery saw blood sugars drop by 50%, fasting insulin drop by 73%, and maximum insulin released dropped by 18%. Remember that T2D is a disease of insulin resistance, not blood sugars. High blood sugars are just a symptom of the disease, not the cause. That's why treating the high blood sugar is pointless. We need to treat the cause, the insulin resistance. And the results of these studies show that the IR was reversed, period. So what this means for us is that T2D is fully reversible. These studies show that. Now I'm in no way recommending that you go get bariatric surgery. I'm only trying to show you that the rhetoric that you have been told that T2D is chronic and progressive is simply false. Not only is it reversible, but it's reversible in just weeks. So if you intervene properly, you don't need to live with T2D. The point of this video is to show that T2D is completely curable. And the point of this channel is to show you how to cure it without drugs or surgery with a completely natural method. We'll discuss the safest and best way to cure it in the next video in our series. Until then, I hope you'll like our videos and comment on them as well. We would also love for you to subscribe to our channel so you can be updated on all new content. And of course, as always, keep being a loser.